Hey there guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this makeup look for my riding cosplay. Today we're in my sister's room because her room just has more room to fill and better lighting. So thank you sister for letting me use your room to record this video. And thank you for letting me use your microphone because I have none. Um, I usually cosplay cute characters so this was a challenge for me. Uh, but I think it turned out really nice. So if you want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. I went ahead and did my foundation, my concealer and my contact lenses off camera so we can get started right away. I'm going to start working on the eyeshadow right now and for that I'm of course going to use purple. For this I'm using my eyeshadow palette by James Charles. My eye look today is going to be inspired by Nikki Tutorials. She has this Dutch program called Makeup Cup and she wore a really nice eye look the other day. So I'm taking inspiration from that because it has a lightning above her eye. And I thought it would be very fitting for the riding showman to do something like that. So I'm going to try to recreate it today. But first I'm putting a lot of purple under my eye and in my outer corner. You always want to go up a bit higher than you think you should when applying eyeshadow. Because when you look straight ahead, it's always going to be a lot less than when you're looking down like this. And you can see your whole eyelid. So don't worry about going up too far. You always want to be almost up onto your eyebrow with your makeup. By the way, I'm not a professional or anything. So, you know, I'm just doing what I always do. I'm just showing you guys the process that, went to, that goes into my makeup. Now I'm taking a lighter purple to blend out the darker purple. I'm really trying to make it go all the way out in like a V shape so it elongates my eyes a little because I want to look well older and womanly and that helps with the illusion. With the lighter purple I'm going to fill in the rest of my eyelid too. At least here above here. Because on the eyelid itself I want to do a shimmery shape. Because I like how it looks. I also go all the way up to the front of my eyebrow to really blend it together. Let's see what shimmery shade we're going to use today. So we're going to go for the shade Pride from the Kit Tutorials for palette. Same here, you always want to go a bit higher than you think you should. Because when you open your eye, everything will be invisible otherwise. And if you're not sure, just look straight ahead and see if you can still see it. In my case you can't, so I'm going to apply more. And this is how I like it. Then for the actual inner corner part here, I'm going to use the shade Ivy from Nikki's palette. And put it right here. Now we're going to go ahead and apply some eyeliner first, some normal eyeliner which is going to be just a black eyeliner. I like to make it a very thin line in the beginning from here. I always keep my breath when doing eyeliner, so if I'm quiet, it's because of that. Just a very thin line. I usually go for a bit more of a cat eye shape when I get to the wing part, but I really want to go for an elongated shape today, so I'm making a bit more straight and pretty long and then connected it, connecting it back to the line above my eye. Ah, I feel so cool in my riding cosplay. Ah, I usually cosplay more cute characters, so riding is a bit out of my comfort zone, um, but I feel really badass as they're already. Let's go for some bottom lashes. I also want to make those go a bit more outwards, rather than down. I usually only like to go for two bottom lashes, otherwise uh, it gets stuck in the bottom crease of my lower lash line. And it's just messy all around. I'm gonna go for some eye pencil. Yeah, eye pencil. And I'm going to make a line on my bottom lash as well. I 
just so it's a bit more complete and looks a bit more like an anime eye. Then I'm gonna go for a white eye pencil and I'm going to make an extra line on my waterline. I see a lot of cosplayers do this and it really helps uh, make your eye look bigger. Um, and a lot of people also use uh, white eyeliner for that and it can look really cool. Uh, but I like to go for a bit more of a light coat of white, just so it blends with the white of my eye better. And that for me really helps open up my eyes. Otherwise, if I make it too white, it's really such a big contrast between the white of my eye and the actual white. Wow, as this really makes it blend together. That makes sense. Now we're gonna go for the most nerve-wracking part, which is going to be applying a beautiful lightning with white eyeliner. Pray for me that it is going to go right. But I'm going to be very concentrated, so I'm going to be quiet for a bit. With this, you also want to go up pretty high. So... Uh, I'm keeping my eye open for a bit so I can really see where I can... Well, make it go. And I'm really gonna go for a straight line. Just to make my eyes more... <laughs> make it a bit more long, make it a bit more... Adult, I guess. Whereas if you were to go for a curvy line, it would make your eyes just look big and cute. Which is nice for cuter and younger characters, but for right now I'm gonna go for like glam eye. It's already turning out so cool. Oh, but it is so scary. I'm so scared I'm gonna mess up. I think that's okay. Well, let's go ahead and apply a purple gradient. Because this wasn't hard enough already. I'm gonna go for pink first, just to be safe. That's literally doing nothing at all. Okay, I'm gonna go for purple because the pink really isn't picking up. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I think it looks nice like this. Let's just move the green into a little bit more to the center. That's nice. I like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye of camera and then apply some lashes off camera and then I'll be right back. Hey there, I'm back and my both of my eyes are now complete and with a lash. I tried to make them as symmetrical as I could, uh, which is hard. But you know what they say, sisters, not twins. So now we're gonna start on eyebrows. Because you know, it's pretty nice to have your eyebrows match the wig. I'm gonna go for the same purple shade I used for my eyes. And just lightly brush it over my brow. Oh yeah, I forgot something. I want to go for a bit of shimmer under my brow bone, on my brow bone as well, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna go with the shade Ivy again from the Naked Tutorials Beauty and Beauty Big Out. Just right here. Go for a bit of shimmer. Perfect. There we go. I love how this is turning out. Let's go for blush. Usually I uh, center the blush around here on my cheeks because I usually cosplay cute characters. Uh, and it really gives it the cute puffy cheeks kind of look. But for Raiden, I guess I don't want to go for a more adult woman look. So I'm gonna go and put the blush right here. Almost where you would put the highlighter. I'm also going to put some on my nose. I usually also only do that for cute characters, but I just want my nose to be a bit more defined. But I'm putting it only on the bottom of my nose. Usually I do it straight this, straight like this, like really off the red nose reindeer or something, but now I'm just focusing it on the 
underside of my nose. Now I'm gonna put my face like this, so I can really see a line here. And that's where you want to put the bronzer. And I also like to put a little bit on my jawline just to define it a bit more. Because this is a bald costume, I really wanted to do something nice with the makeup. Because I usually make my own costumes, but right, it was a bit too hard to make for me. Um, but I still really want to contribute something to it, so I'm going all out with the makeup today. I did make my own socks and shorts, because the one that came with the cosplay did not fit me at all. Um, and I made a prop, which I have behind me. This is the prop. I made this within only two days, um, so, you know, it could be better, but I'm proud I managed to make an entire prop within just two days, so. I'm also gonna put a bit of bronzer on my nose, right from the brow to the tip of the nose, just the smallest bit. And that's enough for me. Now, on to highlighter. I'm gonna put it on the tip of my nose, on my nose bridge, on my cupid bow, and on my cheeks. And a little bit on my chin, because why not? And for lips, I'm just gonna be applying some pink lipstick. Then set everything in place with some shading spray. And that's the finished look, all complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope my tutorial could help anyone and give people inspiration on how to do their makeup. Um, and I really enjoyed making this video again. Uh, I really like doing cosplay makeup videos, so I'm probably gonna make some more. Um, and you guys seem to really like my Kaede makeup uh, tutorial that I did last year, I think. So, if you guys also want to see more, let me know. Um, if you have a request for a specific character I cosplayed, how I do my makeup for that character, uh, let me know in the comments or send me a message on Instagram. Um, and, well, pictures of my Raiden coming to Instagram soon. If you want to follow me on social media, my username is also pixelclip. On uh, Instagram it's with an underscore at the end, on Twitter too. Uh, on TikTok it's just pixelclip without an underscore and the links to all of that will be in my description. Now, I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. This costume is so big over here, like, how much book do I need to have to fill this up? Like, this is size S, and it's still just so big right here. And the rest fits me well, but it's for some reason just unbelievably big right here. Maybe I'll get myself some big mommy milkers, just so when I bend over, you will see nothing of my body. I will order. Wait, that's, that's the wrong line. That's from Jamie. Now you shall perish.